right. So here we got explosion here and Ooh, nice. Reaction will be whoop. Hold on. That's cool. And just watch out timing wise. It's a I think we would still separate these a bit more by these I mean the arms. And here they're a bit twinned in there. A bit in sync in how they drop. I think I would separate these just a bit more. That is cool. So my thing is that after, especially this frame, it's such a big move that you have this here. And then it stops pretty abruptly and it has really small spacing to almost being locked on those frames. And I think for something where you go that big of a move, I will do here, here, a big one and then a bit higher and then you can go small with a little bit of a curve just a little bit that's my biggest concern at the beginning there just feels a bit not huge just like you just one frame and then the next one is how suddenly this guy accelerates forward and what bumps me a, a little bit is that being so straight, but then accelerating so quickly there. And I think I would it would feel better if he had a forward lean into that. Not that it's mechanically not possible, because that leg is back there and is able to push forward. But if I watch this, there's a sudden acceleration feel that just... It just feels a bit odd. And even if you have this, it's like you almost want this guy to go up. But then it's this way. You know what I mean? Like there's something, at least subjectively to me, odd where this feels like this is a would be cool pose for a jump. But I, I my brain doesn't quite connect the, the sudden acceleration this this way with how this guy so pose straight up all the time. Where I would almost go like that, and then you will be lower, and then that is like. That is the moment when you go from like something where it's, I'm exaggerating, but low to shoo, with that sudden burst to a reverse C curve, still a bit low, that gets him to this. You know what I mean? If you go from this to that, and then he can jump up, which is cool. I love all this here. That's cool. That's cool. I like it. Love that. Yes, that stretch is great. And the only other thing at the end, it feels like <laughs> he starts like a 20 year old and ends like an 80 year old. <laughs> it's all like, yeah, good pose and, you know, nice stretch, nice stretch. And at the end, it's like, ugh, ugh. Like this is straight and it just breaks, 90 degree break in his spine. Ugh. Oh, this aged me. Oh, I can't get back up. Uh, that's kind of what it feels like. So to me, it would be more of a compression like this where it's more in his legs. And then you can have a bit of a compression in the upper body and some swing in his arms. And then he can come back up again where it's a bit maybe leaning forward a bit more, bent legs, and he's, you know, a bit straighter in his body. But this feels like, hey, the spine just broke in half. And then we are... Uh, it's been 84 years old, whatever it is, you know, that type of thing. So that would be my the biggest thing at the end where I'm not quite feeling it. And I wonder, and you mentioned hey, this is a body mechanic shot, not a, like an exercise, not a demoreal shot, but I wonder, this is up to you because it adds more work. If you want to extend the shot by half a second to give him the compression and then to come back up into a, a finished straight like maybe one more step or beginning of a step it just feels like we're cutting out too soon we want to see that ending just a bit longer because what you also are doing is you're going from this broken pose to up but then we're easing into the end as if this is about to stop and if you would add like four more frames it almost feels like you are going to end with this leg here but that is his actual pose at the end. And that just feels odd. That's why I feel like we want to add more, maybe 15, maybe even 20 frames so that he can get back to like a pose like this. Subjectively, obviously that's not needed. It's an exercise and 
um, you know, you can do whatever you want to do. And I don't want to give you more work, but that's just the, the feeling that I have at the end that it feels broken. And then it's almost we're missing a beat, like an ending beat to resolve that, that pose. It's almost like the beginning of an idea that has no resolution, basically. Alrighty, that is that. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.